Nossa! Aaron? Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> No. Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Ursa. No, no. Please. <sighs> I won't let you down. I promise. I knew you were going to be trouble, girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. The end is now, Zaid, for you and your men. Is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Ah! Now, 
Now, descend while we have a chance. Elizabeth, this message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo-storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities. And over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them. In place. It... They... are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What is... Oh! The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again.
burn it all. Then to your task. Leroy. Aloy. 